A Warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox Read for LibriVox.org by Andrew Gauntz There was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame, One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death, But for a silly child with playful breath Who fanned it into fury, It became a mighty conflagration. Ah, the cost! House, home, and thoughtless child alike were lost. Lady, beware, fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love. Lean not with red-curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow, lest in the sudden waking of desire thou, like the child, shalt perish in the fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox Read for LibriVox.org by Algie Pug There was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame, One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death, But for a silly child with playful breath Who fanned it into fury, It became a mighty conflagration. Ah, the cost! House, home, and thoughtless child alike were lost. Lady, beware, fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love. Lean not with red-curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame, and blow, lest, in the sudden waking of desire, thou, like the child, shalt perish in the fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk There was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame, One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death, But for a silly child with playful breath Who fanned it into fury, It became a mighty conflagration. Ah, oh, the cost! house home and thoughtless child alike were lost lady beware fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love lean not with red curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow lest in the sudden waking of desire thou like the child shalt perish in the fire end of poem this recording is in the public domain a warning by ella wheeler wilcox read for librivox dot org by claudia salto there was a flame oh such a tiny flame one fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death but for a silly child with playful breath who fanned it into fury it became a mighty conflagration ah the cost house home and thought as child alike were lost lady beware fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love Lean not with red curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow, lest in the sudden waking of desire thou, like the child, shalt perish in the fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Warning by Eller Wheeler Wilcox Read for LibriVox.org by David Lawrence There was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame, One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death. But for a silly child with playful breath Who fanned it into fury, It became a mighty conflagration. All the cost, house, home, and thoughtless child alike were lost. 
lady beware fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love lean not with red curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow lest in the sudden waking of desire thou like the child shalt perish in the fire end of poem this recording is in the public domain a warning by ella wheeler wilcox read for LibriVox.org by darren kurtz there was a flame oh such a tiny flame one fleeting hour spanned its birth and death but for a silly child with playful breath who fanned it into fury it became a mighty conflagration ah the cost house home and thoughtless child alike were lost lady beware fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love lean not with red curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow lest in the sudden waking of desire thou like a child shalt perish in the fire end of poem this recording is in the public domain a warning by ella wheeler wilcox read for librivox dot org by elise d there was a flame oh such a tiny flame one fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death but for a silly child with playful breath who fanned it into fury it became a mighty conflagration ah the cost house home and thoughtless child alike were lost lady beware fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love lean not with red curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow lest in the sudden waking of desire thou like the child shalt perish in the fire end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox Read for LibriVox.org by Greg Giordano Newport Ritchie, Florida There was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame, One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death, But for a silly child with playful breath, Who fanned it into fury, it became A mighty conflagration, ah, the cost, house home and thoughtless child alike were lost lady beware fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love lean not with red curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow lest in the sudden waking of desire thou like the child shalt perish in the fire end of poem this recording is in the public domain a warning by ella wheeler wilcox read for librivox dot org by garth burton there was a flame oh such a tiny flame one fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death but for a silly child with playful breath who fanned it into fury it became a mighty conflagration ah the cost house home and thoughtless child alike were lost lady beware fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love lean not with red curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow lest in the sudden waking of desire thou like the child shalt perish in the fire end of poem this recording is in the public domain a warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox, read for LibriVox.org by Graham Scott, Cheltenham, England.
GrahamScottAudio.com There was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame. One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death, but for a silly child with playful breath who fanned it into fury. It became a mighty conflagration. Ah, the cost! House, home, and thoughtless child alike were lost. Lady, beware! Fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love. Lean not with red-curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame, and blow, lest in the sudden waking of desire thou, like the child, shalt perish in the fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox, read for LibriVox.org by Christine Wales. There was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame. One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death, but for a silly child with playful breath who fanned it into fury. It became a mighty conflagration. Ah, the cost. House, home, and thoughtless child alike were lost. Lady, beware. Fan not the harmless glow of admiration and ardent love. Lean not with red, curled, smiling lips above, the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow, lest in the sudden waking of desire, thou, like the child, shalt perish in the fire. This recording is in the public domain. A Warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox Read for LibriVox.org by Leanne Howlett there was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame. One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death, but for a silly child with playful breath, who fanned it into fury, it became a mighty conflagration. Ah, the cost! House, home, and thoughtless child alike were lost. Lady, beware! Fan not the harmless glow, of admiration into ardent love. Lean not with red-curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow, lest in the sudden waking of desire thou, like the child, shalt perish in the fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox Read for LibriVox.org by Caveat There was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame. One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death. But for a silly child with playful breath, who fanned it into fury, it became a mighty conflagration. Ah, the cost! House, home, and thoughtless child alike were lost. Lady, beware! Fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love. Lean not with red-curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow, lest in the sudden waking of desire thou, like the child, shalt perish in the fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox Read for LibriVox.org by Phil Schempf There was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame. One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death. But for a silly child with playful breath, who fanned it into fury, it became a mighty conflagration. Ah, the cost! House, home, and thoughtless child alike were lost. Lady, beware! Fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love. Lean not with red-curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow, lest in the sudden waking of desire thou, like the child, shalt perish in the fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox, read for LibriVox.org 
by Paul Harvey. There was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame, one fleeting hour it spanned its birth and death, but for a silly child with playful breath, who fanned it into fury, it became a mighty conflagration of the cost. House, home, and thoughtless child alike were lost. Lady, beware, ban not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love. Lean not with red curled, smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow. Lest in the sudden waking of desire, thou like the child shalt perish in the fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox Read for LibriVox.org by Rachel May There was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame. One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death, but for a silly child with playful breath who fanned it into fury, it became a mighty conflagration. Ah, the cost! House, home, and thoughtless child alike were lost. Lady, beware! Fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love. Lean not with red-curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow, lest in the sudden waking of desire thou, like the child, shalt perish in the fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox Read for LibriVox.org by Ryan There was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame. One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death. But for a silly child with a playful breath, who fanned it into fury, it became a mighty conflagration. Ah, the cost! House, home, and thoughtless child alike were lost. Lady, beware. Fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love. Lean not with red-curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow. Lest in the sudden waking of desire thou, like the child, shalt perish in the fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox Read for LibriVox.org by Sebastian Levine November fifteenth, two 2020 There was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame, One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death, But for a silly child with playful breath, Who fanned it into fury, It became a mighty conflagration, Ah, the cost! House, home, and thoughtless child alike were lost. Lady, beware! Fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love, Lean not with red-curled smiling lips above The flickering spark of sinless flame and blow, Lest in the sudden waking of desire Thou, like the child, shall perish in the fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Warning by Ella Wheeler Wilcox Read for LibriVox.org by Sam there was a flame, oh, such a tiny flame. One fleeting hour had spanned its birth and death. But for a silly child with playful breath, who fanned it into fury, it became a mighty conflagration. Ah, the cost, house, home, and thoughtless child alike were lost. Lady, beware. Fan not the harmless glow of admiration into ardent love. Lean not with red curled smiling lips above the flickering spark of sinless flame and blow, lest in the sudden waking of desire thou like the child shall perish in the fire. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.